let's just bring our hands, clasp your hands in your lap and let your thumbs come to touch and close your eyes. Let's take a moment just to tune in and breathe. Very simply being conscious of your inhale and your exhale. In and out through your nose. As thoughts start to come in about your day, about what you have to do today or tomorrow, just stay with your breath. Inhale, exhale, as if that's the only thing in the entire world that matters in this moment. Resist the urge to need to be anywhere but here. And feel your body get a little heavier into whatever you're seated on this morning. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And open your mouth, let it go. Let's bring hands to heart center. Surrender your chin to your chest just slightly. Today's class, I'd like to offer up the intention of deep gratitude. I've been hearing so many stories in the last couple of days and in my own life of big, massive acts of kindness and goodwill toward others. And so in this moment, be grateful for whatever gifts that you have been given, whether it be recently or within your whole life. And we'll cultivate gratitude throughout our mat, throughout our practice rather, on our mat. So for the next few breaths, just notice where gratitude lives in your body. What does it feel like? And by the way, there's no wrong answer to this. It's just a question you can ask yourself. Where does gratitude live? How does it feel? Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, breathe out. Beautiful, blink your eyes open. We'll start today with the EM Yoga Wake Up. So, peace fingers, find your collarbones right here, and then you go out an inch and down an inch, and there's like a little depression here. And we're just gonna start tapping lightly. And so I'll come up to the screen and kind of show you where it is. Collarbones here, out an inch, down an inch. And you can just start tapping. Your job during the wake up is to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth at all costs, in through your nose, out through your mouth. This is like the body's on button. So if you are not yet awake, this should do it. A few more times. And you can also massage this point anytime you need a wake up, anytime you need a boost. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more deep breath in, big breath out. Good, now take your tapping to your sternum, right in the middle of the chest, your chest. In through the nose, out through the mouth. This is connected to our thymus gland. This is actually where our thymus gland is. It helps awaken the immune system. Get it going for the day, we can all use a little more of that. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Now take your tapping to the side bodies. So you can, I like to make like little beaks with my hands, bring all my fingers together and just start to tap right in the side of your rib cage, up into your armpit. You can even tap all the way down underneath the breast tissue, in through the nose, out through the mouth. 
What this is doing is it's helping with integration and digestion. So if you've had any digestive stuff going on lately, you might feel a little bit sore or tense here. Or you might find a spot that you can massage a little bit. Woo, helps integrate in through the nose, out through the mouth. And fun fact, our body does a lot of digestion obviously with food, but we also have to digest information and experiences. So sometimes when we've had a lot of big news or big changes, this can also be sore. One more breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, shake it off. And bring your peace fingers right below where your pupils are on the bone uh, surrounding the eye, the orbital bone, and just start to tap lightly. Eyes can close in through the nose, out through the mouth. This is good for grounding. And you can even tap all the way around the orbital bone of the eye, helping to ground our energy into our body for today. One more breath in. And breath out. Good. Release your hands onto your knees. Keep your eyes closed and just breathe for a moment. Observe energy moving within your body. Blink your eyes open, cross crawl. First, hands are gonna just hit same hand, same leg. One big breath in, big breath out. Good, now switch, opposite hand to opposite leg. In through the nose, out through the mouth. What we're doing here is we're just teaching the energy in our body to cross over. It seems so simple, it's like, okay, super obvious. But anytime our hands cross to the opposite side of our body, especially making contact, we're helping balance the brain, wake up the brain and get ready for our day. So one more, big breath in, big breath out. Beautiful. Hands layer on top of one another. Bring them right down by your pelvis. Close your eyes. Let's bring our intention into mind. Gratitude. With an inhale, draw your hands up the midline of your body. Flip your hands, palms forward at your face. Reach them up. Open your mouth. Breathe out. Again, two more times. Inhale. Draw your hands up. And open up. One more time, inhale. Flip and open. Last little thing here. Peace finger or your middle finger in your belly button, middle finger between your eyebrows. Press in and pull up. This just seals in the energy. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, three breaths. Release your hands onto your knees. Breathe for a moment. Breathe. And then blink your eyes open. Let's do a little movement. Right hand comes down to the right side. Left arm reaches up and over. And roll through your left wrist. Oh, full side body stretch. Like someone's pulling your wrist away, pressing down on your left hip. Open up and just feel grateful for your wrist in this moment. Mobility in your wrist. Go the other direction. And then big sweeping circles through your left arm. You can stop if there's any sticky spots. Breathe. And then all the way over, inhale, come up to center. Ooh, just notice the difference between left side and right. It's always amazing to me. And then left hand comes out, right arm reaches. Roll your right shoulder open and then roll your right wrist. Again, a little bit of gratitude for your wrist, mobility in your wrist. Keep breathing. Go the other direction. Big side body stretch. 
And then inhale all the way back up. Hands clasp in front of you. Press your hands away and round your spine. Shoulder blades draw away from one another. Ooh, you might even be able to feel the stretch down in your low back. And then with a breath in, reach your arms up and open up a little back bend. Engage through your core. That'll protect your low back. And then we'll start to make some circles with our torso. Big circles. And really make this like, I don't know, the only word that comes to mind is like an undulation of the spine, like a wave. And we'll go the opposite direction in a moment. And switch. Good, rise all the way up, breathe in. And exhale, bring your hands all the way down. Let's roll over our knees. Move all of your stuff to the side. <laughs> all the stuff. Hands come right down underneath your shoulders. Moving through cat-cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin. And exhale, round your spine. Start to move forward to back through cat-cow at any pace that feels good. And while you're moving, just see if you can feel a little bit of gratitude. Maybe something immediately comes to mind, an injury you've been working with that maybe is on the mend. Or you notice how strong your hands grip into the mat. Or maybe you're grateful for your mat itself, if you have, if you have a little love affair with your mat like I do. Whatever it is, find things to feel gratitude for. And then find neutral, strong through your shoulders, press through your upper mid back, walk your hands forward just a little bit. We're gonna move forward to back. So you have the option of just coming forward like a plank pose. If shoulders come just in front of your wrists, you'll get a little bit of a stretch. You also have the option of dropping your hips and opening your front line of your body. Open your shoulders, chin can lift, core is supporting this. And then use your core to pull back, toes tuck, super key here and relax your head down. Stretch through your toes. Inhale forward. Lift and open your heart. And exhale, send it back. Start to move at whatever pace feels good. Make this as much about your spine as it is about your arms and legs and toes. And then come to neutral, keep your toes tucked. We're actually gonna walk our hands back and just sit back onto your heels. I love toes pose. But if it's too much for you at any point, come down to the tops of your feet. Just allows us to get really grounded through the hands, or rather through the feet. But we're gonna do the hands as well. So hands come out and just flick your fingers against your thumbs, lubricating the joints of your wrists. And see how fast you can go. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. And notice, like I typically here will stick out my belly a little bit, like I have a little back bend going on. It's weird, it's something I just normally do if I'm not conscious. So be aware of your pelvis, have a neutral pelvis. Go a little faster. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come down to the tops of your feet, Hands rest, palms up on your knees. Just close your eyes for a moment. If this is too much on your knees, just stand onto your knees. Breathe. Deep breath in. Open your mouth, breathe out. One more breath in. 
and breath out. And blink your eyes open. So we're gonna stay here from hero's pose, but again, if this is too much, you're welcome to come down to a seat. Open your arms wide, palms open, bend your elbows, open through your chest. And on an exhale, make fists with your hands, bring the sides of your arms together, tuck your elbows into your belly, round your spine. Inhale, open your heart. And exhale, round your spine. A few more times. Last round. And then rise all the way up. Beautiful. Bring your hands forward. Let's find a downward facing dog, hips high. Pedal out through your knees, first down dog of the day. Head can relax, breathe. And then let your heels surrender toward your mat. Upper arm bones wrap in, so it's like your shoulder blades are coming apart from one another on your back and you're wrapping your arms around. This should solidify your grip through your fingers so there's no excess weight in your wrists. Head still dangling like a bowling ball. Breath in and breath out. In this moment, we're gonna hang here for just a moment. It helps warm up the arms. Find gratitude for something in your life that you wouldn't normally be grateful for. So, for example, the first thing that comes to mind is, I don't know, having to take out the trash. <laughs> Come up with something that you're not normally grateful for and see how you could flip that on its head. Anytime we're in our inversions, our perspective can flip. What can you find gratitude for? Three breaths. Last one. Good, now tiptoe your feet forward. We'll stay in an inversion in ragdoll. Grab opposite elbows, bend your knees, put your belly on your thighs. Find a release in your low spine. Head is like a bowling ball. One big inhale. And exhale, hands release. As you breathe in, bend your knees, press into your feet, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Arms reach out, around and up, look up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe. Get your bearings on your feet. That was a long time upside down for the start of practice. Breathe. and blink your eyes open. Beautiful, we're gonna do a Kriya called Pranavayu. Uh, oh, now I'm forgetting the name of it, but the name actually doesn't matter. What it does is it's gonna balance all the pathways of prana in the body, life force, that's what prana is. So first part of the inhale, palms come up, straight in front of you, palms up. Second part, inhale, arms come out, palms up. Third part, inhale, Arms come up, and if you could see my hands, my hands are facing one another. And then we exhale through our mouth, hands come back. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's a three-part inhale. Three, 
Okay, so when you come down, do not flip your head down. It's called pranavayu. Wait, still can't remember the name. Hopefully we'll balance my brain by the end of this class. Anyway, so three parts through the nose, one part through the mouth. And we're just gonna keep going. Just let it start to move you, okay? Inhale, here we go. Keep it up, gaze is forward. Keep it up. It's called three-part pranavayu breath, number one. Got it. My brain is balanced. Let's keep going. Once you keep going, you'll really start to get into a rhythm and be less focused on your body and your breath. And it just starts to move you. Stay with it. Last 30 seconds. Last one. Hands come up, left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly, eyes open or closed. Breathe. Feel the breath, prana, moving throughout your body. One more inhale. And exhale. Lovely. Hands come down. Top of your mat. Let's inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Hands to heart. Samastitihi. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Swan dive. Fold forward all the way down. Inhale. Halfway lift. Spine long. Shoulder blades together. Exhale. Fold. Two more like that. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold. 
inhale. Last one, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now plant your hands to the mat, step your feet back, high plank from toes or knees. And exhale, hands, or belly rather, comes all the way down. Your hands are already down. <laughs> and then on an inhale, baby cobra. Press into your feet, kneecaps lift, open your heart. Breathe, breathe. Lower down. Two more, inhale, peel up. Exhale, lower down. One more, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Now hands stay where they are, elbows draw back. We'll do just a little spinal balancing with the head turn. So inhale, lift up, look over your left shoulder. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, look over your right shoulder. Exhale, down. One more each side. Inhale, left shoulder. Exhale, lower down. And right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Press into your palms, shift back. Child's pose with wide or knees together. Your choice. Hands can either be forward or behind your ankles. Rock a little side to side. Especially if your knees are together, this is a really cleansing form of child's pose for the internal organs. And breathe into the back of your body. Expand your rib cage. And then back to center, hands reach forward, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, hips high. And you can pedal out, head can relax, breathe. And from here, let's inhale up to your tippy toes, bend your knees deeply, and you can exhale and spring, hop, step, dance forward, top of your mat, your choice. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe. Breathe. And blink your eyes open. So uh, another, this is called, this is a chi movement. And we're going to take all of our energy so far and we're going to harness it and cultivate it. So this one, uh, chi force. Inhale, hands come up. Lift your left foot up. Now this is great for balancing too. Whew. And as you exhale, it's like an H-A. <sighs> Push it forward. Inhale, draw the energy up from the earth. Exhale, press it forward. <sighs> Again, other side. <sighs> and just start to go side to side at your own pace. Really see how stealthily you can lift up. It's about control and also strengthening through your legs. <sighs> Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. As you go side to side, you can find a lot of gratitude for your ankles. Ankles are huge in this one. Use your core. Give it your all. Last couple. Last one, each side. Stand, palms up, eyes open. Breathe. We're going to channel all that energy. Into a flow. Shake your hands off, top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart, samastiti hi. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, fold. Plant your hands to your mat, step your feet back. High plank, either from toes or knees. You can move through chaturanga or to your belly. Find a back bend of your choice. Open your heart, lift your chest and chin. And exhale, use your core to get back. Downward facing dog, hips high. Head can relax, breathe. Inhale, right leg high. Flex your foot, level out your hips. Now you can stay here, or if it would feel good to open up your hips, bend your knee. Find a little rotation through your knee and your ankle. I always like to lift up to the tippy toes of my left foot and kind of lengthen and strengthen through the back of my left leg as well. Shoulders have even pressure. Grip into your fingers. And then inhale, right leg long. And exhale, bring it through between your hands. We're coming to crescent lunge. Front knee is bent. Now, I sometimes also like to bend my back knee in order to get my hips square first. And then fire your back leg up. Heel is right over the ball of the foot. Balance challenge would be to look back there. Otherwise, for no balance challenge, just look in the screen and see your picture. <laughs> sometimes that helps. Fire up through your back leg. Arms can reach up if you'd like. Gaze is forward and strong. Palms face one another. And do your best. Engage from your feet all the way up to your fingers. A lot of times we stand in these poses and we forget that the whole body is engaged. And we'll move into a twist. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Now you'll hinge forward first, and your left elbow will come to the outside of your right knee. So hug it in here. Now if this isn't accessible, you can always lower your back knee down. You can always just bring the outside of the left hand. Right arm can reach up like this. But if you do have the twist, maybe you scoot your, I always scoot my left foot back when I'm in this. And then when you really get into the twist, you can feel a stretch in your, uh, your hip flexor, IT band area on the right leg. Whew, breathe. Good for the torso, good for the organs. Stay with it. Breath is in and out through your nose. Breath in. And as you exhale, lower your back knee down. Ooh, and inhale, come up, twist from your knee. And then take just a little back bend, open up through your heart. And exhale, pinwheel your hands down. Now we're going to take another twist. This time, left hand is grounded, right hand is up. You have the option of staying here or one of my faves. Bend your back knee, maybe reach for it. If you do have a strap, you can use a strap here. I roll to the outside edge of my right foot to help me get a little bit more reach and grip. Open up through your chest. Breathe. Stay strong through your left hand so you're not dumping into your left wrist. Breathe. And then inhale, release the foot if you have it. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hand to the mat. Tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee. Right foot draws back. You can move through a flow or just skip it and meet us in downward facing dog, your choice. Only requirement is that you breathe in and out through your nose. Take a moment to sink into gratitude once more in your downward facing dog. The first time a teacher told me that this was a resting pose, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yoga is ridiculous. <laughs> but now I see what he means. And it evolves over time. You can rest anywhere. So wrap your upper arm bones in. Strong through your fingers. Not a lot of weight going into your wrists. Breathe. Beautiful. Let's take the other side. Left leg, lift it up and bend your knee. Open your hip if you'd like, or you can leave it straight. 
Sometimes good to make those big circles with your knee or your ankle. Leave even pressure in both hands and shoulders. Breathe. And then inhale, left leg long, flex your foot. Exhale, bring it through between your hands, crescent lunge. Back heel is lifted. Again, sometimes it's helpful to bend your back knee first, get your hips square toward the front, and then straighten it back out. Arms can reach up, palms face one another. Nice, everyone. Shoulders can relax. Find something to look at that's not moving. So drishti, our gaze, so important, not just in balancing poses, but in all poses and in life. Whatever you focus on expands. So here, focus on stillness. Now we come into our twist, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. As you inhale, hinge forward at the hips, and then right elbow comes to the outside of your left knee. Palms press. So over time, we work on pressing the palms toward the sternum. Back knee, totally straight and strong, gazes up. Now you can always lower your back knee, remember. Breathe in and out through your nose. Cleansing for the organs, strengthening for the legs. Inhale, exhale, lower your back knee down. Inhale, arms up. And if you exhale, or we did this twist rather, didn't we? Yes, left hand comes down. You can take this little back bend. Right arm is reaching up and back. Core needs to be strong in your back bend. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale, hands down for our other twist. Right hand plants, left hand is up. Now you can stay here, this is a great spot. Or roll to the outside of your left foot, maybe bend your back knee, open up. Breathe. Grip through your fingers, not a lot of weight in your wrist. In this one, I always focus on, it's almost like my, the force of my foot kicking into my hand, it's peeling open my left shoulder. Oh, it feels so good. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Whew. Tuck your right toes under, lift your back knee. Sending it back to plank pose, you can move through a flow of your choice. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Breathe. Breathe. And then lower your knees down to your mat. Let's rock the feet around in front of us, coming onto our back. Now we're gonna come through a bridge series, but if you'd like supported bridge, if you're feeling a little mellow today, have your block nearby. Otherwise, lean all the way back. And when you're in bridge pose, just refrain from looking side to side. Hands come to your sides, palms down, roll your shoulder blades underneath you. You can look up at your knees for just a moment, make sure they're hip width distance, and then lower back down. Breathe everything out. And then with an inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips up and breathe here. So there's a little bit of space behind your neck and you're powering through your legs. Sometimes I like to bend at my elbows so my fingertips are facing up toward the sky, almost like I'm holding like a block between my arms and then I'm pressing into the backs of my arms, upper arms, into the mat. Now, if you'd like here, if you have low back issues or low back injury from past, maybe don't do this. But if you're free and clear, maybe relax your glutes. Your glutes are the clenching muscles of your bum. And a lot of times we just unconsciously clench. 
And so here's a good place to relax the clench and maybe you have to like relax it over and over again. Sometimes it's like, I don't even know what's going on. So you have to like grab your bum and be like, hey, relax. And really focus on the strength of your legs and the strength of your core as well. Your core helps hold you up. <sighs> Breathe. And then slowly exhale, lower down. Ooh, beautiful. Couple options. Bring your feet wide and windshield wiper knees side to side. That might feel good. Maybe it feels good to hug your knees into your chest. Do whatever is going to feel good in your body in this moment. And while you're doing this, roll out your wrists in both directions. Roll out your wrists. and then come on back to center bridge round two now you can do any variation you like you can do what we just did you can take supported bridge and sit your sacrum on a block or we'll take moving bridge so again knees hip width distance hands at your sides breathe everything out <sighs> inhale press into your feet lift your hips up and lift your arms long to the wall behind you and then with an exhale, lower your arms, lower your hips. Now you can lower them to just a hover for a little extra challenge or all the way down. And then when you breathe in, lift it all back up and lower it all back down. Exhale. So we're just moving with breath. Your movement, your choice. Breath in and out through your nose. few more rounds. Last one. And exhale, lower it down. This time you have the same option, windshield wiper, or bring your knees wide, soles of your feet to touch. Left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Let your knees surrender. So letting them fully melt. Feel that delicious stretch in your groin, in your inner thighs. Connect in with your breath. Breath is one of the only things that's both controllable and automatic. We're breathing all day long, otherwise we're not alive. But we also have control over our breath when we want to. So feeling a bit of gratitude here for breath steadily moving in and out of your body without you even having to think about it. Breath in. Open your mouth, breathe out. Hands release to your knees. Ooh, help your knees close. One more round of bridge. I'm gonna walk through wheel pose. So if you are like, nope, don't wanna do wheel, then just take any bridge variation. If you've never done wheel before, uh, I'll just go through it so you can watch. Otherwise, just take it at your own pace. Hands come by your ears. Fingertips face your shoulders. Elbows come in. Now, the biggest thing people do is wing their elbows out. So you really got to keep them in. And first step would be just lifting up into bridge pose in the lower body and pressing into your hands and maybe putting the crown of your head on the mat. It's a lot in the core, a lot in the legs. And then you press up. And over time, those of you who are used to this, we work on straightening our knees and bringing your shoulders more over your wrists. Now at any time, if you need to come down, you just lower the upper body slowly down. So again, coming into any variation, bridge, wheel, supported bridge, whatever you feel warm and uh, just whatever you feel motivated to do in this moment. And find five of the deepest breaths of your practice wherever you are.
And after your fifth, exhale. Ooh, slowly lower down. And again, any variation. Knees wide, just a little melting into the mat again, or windshield wiper, or knees to chest. Ask your body what it needs most. Breath in and breath out. Release your hands to your knees, help them close. If they are like that, hug your knees into your chest, whoever you are, wherever you are. Rock a little side to side, and we're gonna actually bring hands behind thighs and rock forward to back. Take at least three of these if it feels okay on your spine. Big, long massage for your spine. And then we're gonna rock right up into boat pose, right up into it. See if you can get your hover. Hands come out in front of you. Whew. Engage your feet, open up your shoulders. Breathe, core is strong. Gaze is forward, drishti strong. Breathe in and out. In this moment, find gratitude for something. Maybe it's boat pose itself. Maybe it's your core muscles. Maybe it's, I don't know, whatever it is. Figure something out. Breathe and be with it. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, cross your legs, rock over your feet, come to downward facing dog, hips high. Whew, right away to half pigeon, inhale, right leg high. And exhale, right knee to right wrist, flex your right foot, look around behind you like left leg is straight, open your heart. And exhale, surrender forward, breathe. Thumbs to your forehead. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale. Hands can plant two options. You can either rock onto your hip and bring your left leg around or transition through downward facing dog, your choice. Ooh, just making our way to the other side. So eventually you'll bring your left knee forward, half pigeon pose, right leg is behind you straight. Open up through your heart and then surrender forward. Forehead to your mat or thumbs to your forehead. Breathe. Send any sort of love and breath into those areas of tension or tightness. Try to release a little tension from your shoulders. Shoulders are one of the, other than our hips, shoulders tend to tense up when we're stressed. So just alleviating a little bit of that in this moment. And then finally, start to put some weight back into your palms. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your back knee. Find downward facing dog. And then we will all, if you wish, move through one final flow of your class today at your own pace. And we'll meet in child's pose. Wide knees, forehead to your mat. Surrender down. And then inhale, hands walk back toward your knees. 
Stand up onto your knees. So we'll take camel pose. And again, if your back is like, oh man, I'm not feeling it, we'll take a really modified camel pose. So I recommend tucking your toes. You can always put a blanket underneath your knees. We'll start slow, left hand at your low spine. Just reach your right arm up, open your heart, like you're lifting through your collarbones, right at the top where we started class today. Lift and open, inhale. And then exhale, bring your right hand down around and to your low back and then inhale, open up through your left hand. Exhale, bring it down around, inhale up. Now you can keep going to your low back or you can reach toward your heels. Just depends on how open you are today. But again, anytime we're working with gratitude, always good to work with little heart openers, little back bends or big sweeping back bends, however you wanna cut it. Inhale and exhale. Tops of the feet on the mat. Find a little seedling pose. Knees together, forehead to the mat, or forehead to the block if that's not possible. If you want just a little extra for your low back, you can always clasp your hands on your back and just give your low back a bit of a massage. Just circles on your low spine, both directions. And then inhale, rise up. And we'll swing our feet around. Find something to sit on. Before we close today, we'll find one more breath practice. If you're just feeling like, oh man, I need to go into Shavasana, this can be done from Shavasana too, and we'll have time to move into that after this. So hands rest on your knees, close your eyes. We'll practice breath of light. This is a seven part inhale through your nose, seven little sips all the way up. Hold for just a beat, and then one big exhale out through your nose. So breathe it all out to start through your nose for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your breath in. And then one big exhale through your nose. Again, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your breath in and exhale it all out. On your own, count it out at your own pace. Seven little sips of air. Think about drawing the quality of light into your body. Quality of light. Trying to make the little sips of breath as quiet as possible. If you had someone next to you, they wouldn't even be able to tell that you were breathing. As you continue with the practice, if there's any final areas of tension, maybe your low back, your hips, your shoulders, Imagine sending your breath to those spaces. Send a little extra love those ways. You can either stay here to close out practice from seated or find Shavasana, lying down onto your back, hands at your sides, palms to the sky, fully surrendering into your mat. Staying with our intention of feeling gratitude, 
seeing where that lives in the body and feeling it. Start to breathe a little deeper. Notice your belly rise and fall. Bring slight movement to your fingers and toes. Roll out your wrists and ankles. Reach your arms long overhead, find a Big stretch, point your toes. And then knees to chest and roll onto your side, whichever side feels good today. Take this moment just to pause. Come back to your intention. And then press up to a comfortable seat Hands come to your heart center. This is where we'll meet. Feel gratitude. The light and the love in me sees and honors and feels gratitude for the light and the love in each of you. Thank you so much for sharing your practice today. Namaste.